Welcome to the demonstration on spanning tree root guard or root protect on Ruckus ICX switches. Root guard or root protect is a mechanism on ICX switches that allows a root switch to maintain its root status even if a superior BPU is received. Uh, this is a scenario where you want to ensure that the root of your network doesn't change if someone were to come in and connect uh, uh, 802.1w or spanning tree capable switch into your network and can have a priority configured that makes it superior to the priority configured on the active root switch, uh, making it the new root of the network and potentially causing connectivity problems. So this is something you're going to configure on ports that are going to prevent them from ever receiving uh, superior BPDUs. And, and these kind of span out from the current root to ensure that it stays in place. So let's go ahead and configure it real fast. Okay, so this is done at the interface level. Uh, we're going to do this. I'm going to do it on a group of interfaces and uh, configure that first. So we're going to do 121 to 128. So I'm going to configure all these interfaces uh, for root protect. So this is done with the spanning tree. Root protect command. So that's done. Uh, we have it enabled and we can confirm that with the show span root protect command. And yes, we have it enabled on unit one, module two, ports one through eight. So root protect is enabled. Uh, we're in good shape. So now let's see what that's done to our spanning tree. I have a another switch connected that's sending in a superior BPDU to ours. And I want this switch to be the root. So uh, let's see what that does for us. So I'm running the show 802.1w command. I'm using the exclude disable option. So any ports that are disabled or down will not show up in the output underneath the spanning tree information. So this just clears out the clutter so we can look at the ports that matter to us. So what we have here is uh, we are the root. Uh, this is what we want. We want ourselves to maintain our root status. And on ports two, one, two, three, and one, two, four, I'm receiving um, BPDUs that are superior to mine. So that these ports now move into a root inconsistent state, which is essentially the same as blocking. There'll be no user data forwarded to these ports, and uh, this, this situation will automatically rectify itself only when that root bridge or that, that device that's trying to become the root is either removed or its priority is set to a value that doesn't change this root bridge's uh, status as the root in the domain. So, okay, so let's take a look then at the uh, show log output. And in the show log, uh, we see that these ports, uh, we received a superior BPDU, uh, so the port went into a blocking state. This is on 123 and 124. So these are continuing to come in from that device, and it's continuously maintaining that it's still stuck in a blocking state. Uh, you notice that it is trying to transition out of it, goes to a learning state again, and then as soon as it receives that BPD, it goes right back to a blocking state. Another value we can look at that will give us more information on this is the show interface command. So we'll look at 123. And interface 123, uh, we'll see that root protect is enabled and that the port is in a blocking state. So uh, root protect has done exactly what we've wanted it to do. It's ensured that a BPDU received on an interface that we have root protect uh, enabled on, uh, if that BPDU is received, we'll put that port into a root inconsistent state that says we're going to not listen to those BPDUs and we're going to put the port in a block state so that we can maintain the topology the way we've designed it. And then, uh, of course, to resolve it, you either go and remove that device or change its priority to a value that's not superior to the priority of the current root bridge. So that's root guard or root protect on a Ruckus ICX switch. Thank you for viewing this demonstration. Hope to have you back to view more demonstrations in the future. Thank you.